the hills are alive with the sound of a Lexus. Feel inspired, Alexis? Yep. I'm, oh yeah, I'm fall off the edge. Did you see the edge? So we were a little weary. Well, we did. All the way to Inspiration Point. And we were so inspired, feet. weren't we? But it was awesome. Let's give it a Wagamoo thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wagamoo thumbs up to move. The Wild Wild West Adventures of Mom, Dad, Girl, and a Little White Dog. Episode 10 feeling inspired at Grand Teton National Park. So this is the cathedral group of the Teton Range. I've always been a natural early bird and I'll wake up hours before my family. So I decided to put that time to good use and go out and explore. I'm here at the Lay Lake Trailhead, but I'm actually gonna take it in the direction south towards String Lake, which is to the left at the trailhead here. There's Mount Moran. So this is the second instance that the trail's been completely flooded. So I'll probably try to go around this one, but I don't know, I might have to turn back. And turn back I did. Luckily, I'm not too far from the Jenny Lake trailhead. We're at a Jenny Lake overlook here, and straight ahead that's called Cascade Canyon. Here's part of the Jenny Lake Loop Trail, which is around a seven mile loop all around Jenny Lake. Here's another view of Cascade Canyon. And then if we look to the north here, there's the Jenny Lake Loop Trail and going in that direction. If I had time, I'd love to do this trail. So this Jenny Lake Loop Trail was just calling my name. I had to come check it out. But look at this. There's one side. There's the other. And there's Jenny Lake behind us. I love the quiet of the morning. I definitely recommend getting this newspaper from the visitor center. It's been very helpful with more details on the trails. So just to show you a little bit on the map here. So here I was earlier at the Lay Lake right here at the picnic area. That's where I took a lot of those pictures and photos there. And I drove down the scenic drive here to the Jenny Lake Overlook. And then I just headed north just a little bit on the trail to get a little feel for it. But it looks like that trail would be absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's about time to head back to Grovant and get the family. A literal breakfast in bed. <laughs> How are the crackers? Off to explore again, but this time we end up down a pretty crazy dirt road. This is the top of, I don't even know what, but a long road up to the top of this mountain to a dispersed camping spot that we're contemplating on bringing the airstream up here. The road was pretty sketchy and steep, but look at the view.
the hills are alive with the sound of Alexis. So what do you think about all these wildflowers? I like them, they're beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? So this one here is actually a balsam root. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. It grows all over here at Grand Teton, doesn't it? Oop, there's a little bumblebee going by. Well, after frolicking in the flowers and daydreaming about our Airstream camped right here in this location, we realized that we probably wouldn't be able to make it up this crazy dirty road. It's about 3.30, so we're kind of like the in-between time. So it's nice and quiet here. It's pretty busy earlier. There's a lot of the Plains Cottonwood, and a lot of the sagebrush is kind of where you're at in Grovant. There's Aridessa Airstream. There's Jason checking out our lunch. I guess it's kind of a linner, the in-between lunch dinner time. The truck is completely dusty. We just went down the forest roads looking for some campsites. We got the solar hooked up. Seems like it works really well. Charges up that battery. And supposedly, this campground is supposed to be really good for finding moose. Moose poop. We have not seen any moose. There is evidence of moose. Moose poop. And there's our bear box. I think most of the campsites actually have their own bear box. Feed bearware and use your bear box for food, your grill, and other smelly items. And our dusty tailgate kitchen. Did you say lunch was ready? Alexis has some blackberries there. How are they? Pretty good. We got the hot dogs cooking outside and I've got some veggies cooking on our stove. I can feel warm from here. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've really actually cooked anything on the stove other than boiling hot water. While we never did see moose at our campsite, we did see a moose on our way to hike to Inspiration Point. We decided to take the Jenny Lake boat over to the other side of Jenny Lake to climb up to Inspiration Point because Daddy wasn't quite feeling the extra four miles of walking. I wanted ice cream tonight. Yeah, and we didn't yeah, want to get ice cream tonight. <laughs> so let's check out this boat ride. Once we get off the ferry, we waste no time trying to rush up to Inspiration Point for sunset. No. So we heard that loud sound and we thought we had already gotten to the waterfall. It turns out that was Cascade Creek, but it was a magnificent, so I can't imagine what the hidden falls will look like. <laughs> High up. Are we there yet? Daddy will probably trip and go off the edge. How much farther? Just a little more climbing and we're almost to Inspiration Point. Here it is! Made it to Inspiration Point. Do you feel inspired, Alexis? Yep. <laughs> 
What do you feel inspired to do? Go down. Go down? <laughs> I think that's what Daddy feels inspired to do too. <laughs> and catch the boat. We're not going to catch the boat now. We're catch the boat now. Oh, and there's a little chipmunk over there too. Even up on, way up this high. How high are we, Alexis? A yeah, few feet. 7,200. 7,200 feet high. According to the sign. Yeah, and if you look up higher, that's what, isn't that about? It's a lot more feet up. 10 or 11,000 feet up there? Something like that. And the highest point is like over 13,000. Pretty cool. I don't know, we might need to talk about if we run. I'm, oh yeah, and fall off the edge. Did you see the edge? Not run this far. Run the rock. No, we're high up. Daddy will probably trip and go off the edge. But you'll you'll have the video though to remember me by. I had to laugh as I'm editing this video. This scenario is so typical of our everyday life. Jason's worrying about what could happen, and I'm there looking at the wildflowers. This is particularly sketchy here. It's so nice that we have each other to balance out the pessimism and sometimes unrealistic optimism. Gee, I wonder why. We're going to be bear bait on the way down. We rush back down the trail, hoping to make it for the very last ferry of the night. But of course, still stopping just for a moment to enjoy these views. We of course were very bear aware as this is definitely the time to see bears. As Jason reaches down into his pocket to grab the bear spray, my heart stops just a bit and then I realized he's just grabbing his camera. We really didn't think we were going to make it to the last ferry, but as we near the end of the trail, we see the last ferry boat still docked and loaded with people. Alexis starts yelling, Hurry, Daddy, hurry! We're going to make it! And we make a mad dash. Everyone on the boat laughs. It was a priceless moment. What's the name of the island, Alexis? Jennifer. Jennifer Island in Jenny Lake. How clear that water is. Oh, it's beautiful. It's shallow. No, it's not shallow. Remember, Jenny Lake gets to be about 423 feet deep. So maybe it's like a little bit shallow here, but. <laughs> and we made it back. We just finished up that awesome trail. We took the Jenny boat over across Jenny Lake and we did the Hidden Falls Trail and we thought maybe we wouldn't have time to do Inspiration Point, so we were a little leery. But we did. But we did. <laughs> Mama talked him into doing it. So we did the partial Inspiration Point and we thought maybe we'd end there, but we thought we'd go for it, right? We did. All the way to Inspiration Point. And we were so inspired, feet. weren't we? What were you inspired, Alexis? The top. To go to the top <laughs> and then to get back down again right <laughs> so we really enjoyed it we definitely recommend the boat ride we recommend both the trails a little was, pricey yeah it was a little especially since we bought two yeah. one-way tickets because we didn't know if we'd make it back to i the don't know boat. was it cheaper if you bought it yeah especially for her because she oh. was like ten dollars oh, okay. for a two-way it was eight dollars for one way so, so we, just get there early so you don't have to worry about yeah. just plan your day because we rushed we did we rushed <laughs> But it was awesome. So we totally give it a Wagamuth thumbs up. Thumbs up. From Jenny Lake, we head straight to Jackson Hole to get some Moose Gourmet ice cream, which I must say was by far the best ice cream we've ever had. We also check out Jackson Town Square and get a photo of the iconic antler arch there. There was a really long line to wait to get Moose Gourmet ice cream. Huh? But luckily there were plenty of photo opportunities to entertain us as we wait. So we just got back from Moose, is it Moomers? Moose. Moose ice cream. It's all organic, made with organic cream, homemade. And what flavors did you get, Alexis? I got the blood orange, which is down here. 
and the lemon honey. Oh, how are they? Good. Good. What'd you get, Dada? Huckleberry and fresh homemade strawberry. And Yum. it's really awesome. Yeah, it was worth the wait. It was worth a little bit of wait. Mm -hmm. And then I got green tea and chai tea. And they're both really, really good. I think, yeah, they all, they're all they all just high quality ingredients. There's no preservatives, no additives, no coloring, no guar gum, <laughs> no solidifiers. <laughs> all natural and so delicious. So it's healthy ice cream. <laughs> I farted. So we're <laughs> We're finishing up our ice cream, the mousse, and it is so good. Mine's the only one that's gone, though. Say, but I will say the two scoops Man, are mine. so... <laughs> because it's so creamy, the two scoops really is a little too much. But we were so excited to try all the flavors. <laughs> he finished his. I don't know. I don't know if Blue and I are going to finish ours, but... I can finish mine. He might finish ours. I got a bigger belly. But we definitely gave a Wagamooth. Thumbs up to move. And that's all, folks. Join us in our next video where we explore Taggart Lake, Meaners Ferry, and then we move from Grovant Campground all the way up to Coulter Bay Campground, all here in Grand Teton National Park. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay updated on our 75 day road trip. Thanks for watching! The hills are alive with the sound of Alexis.